friends! It is so good to be with you. My name is Miss Carrie, and you know what time it is. It is time to find your family. We are all going to learn and worship together. We have lots of fun activities planned. So did you find everyone? Tell everybody it's time to start. Find your siblings, the grown-ups. Got everybody? All right, great job. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get your supplies for the day. So, Today, what you're gonna need is a bandana, okay? Maybe something like this. You're gonna need something to cover your eyes, okay? So if you don't have a bandana, think of something else that you can use. And maybe some tape for this activity. And then you're also gonna need some crayons and either a couple of paper plates or you could just use paper if you don't have paper plates. That'll work too, okay? Bandana, tape, crayons, a couple paper plates or pieces of paper, uh, will work just fine. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to go gather those things. Ready? Go! You got all your supplies. All right, now we're ready to go. Now we've been playing I Spy, right? Do you have your binoculars? Kind of like these we made a couple of weeks ago? If you've got them, you want to pull them out because we're going to play I Spy, all right? Because we've been looking for different things. And maybe you notice there's some different faces on my shelf hidden on different, in different spots. Can you find the face? that is happy. Where's the happy face? Can you look? Where's it at? Look everywhere around. Oh, I found it. Did you see it? It's up by the books. Look at that. Good job. What about um, a sad face? Do you see a sad face anywhere on the shelf? Use your binoculars. Look around. Where's it at? What did you say? Oh, by the wagon. Good job, there's the sad face. What about an angry face? Do you see an angry face on the shelf? Can you look with your binoculars? Oh, you guys are getting good at this. Oh, you found it. It's by the truck. There it is. It's an angry face. All right, one more. What about a face with heart eyes? Do you see that one? You do? Oh, you're right, Ollie's holding it. It's Ollie's favorite. Good job, guys, finding I Spy. We have so many different emotions, don't we? I brought my Mr. Potato Heads today because they're always smiling, which makes me happy. But sometimes we feel other things too, don't we? Sometimes we're sad or we get angry, right? And we're going to see some different emotions that happen in our story today too, okay? Now, before we dig into our story, Miss Nahana has a super fun activity for us. So listen up. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Miss Nahana, and we've got some fun activities to do this morning. Well, later we'll hear in our Bible story about a man named Paul, whose friends had to help him home after he was suddenly blinded by a bright light he could not see anymore. And really what I would love for you guys to do is... Um, see what it's like to be blind. So find a partner in your house, whether it's your brother or your sister or your mom or dad or auntie or uncle, whoever can be a partner around the house and find a blindfold. Um, we had this blindfold or if you can just find a bandana, something to cover your eyes 
and then your partner will slowly guide you around your house. Whether it's from one side of the room to the other, you can put tape on the floor to make a pretend road. Um, you can just walk around a table a couple of times, but kind of see what it's like to be blindfolded and see if you can make it around without stumbling too hard. Um, my kiddos, Job and Esme, who are behind me, will show you what they did. Um, so let's go ahead and check them out, and we'll be right back. All right, return to, to base, return to where you started. Good job. All right, good job. I did it. You did it. <laughs> well, they did a great job. Only a couple of stumbles, but they made it. Well, also, just to know, after the light that blinded Paul, he heard a loud voice. Do you know who it was? It was Jesus. Did any of you guess that? I bet some of you did. Well, Paul was blinded by the bright light, and his friends had to guide him home. But a few days later, Paul could see again, and he believed in Jesus. And you know what? You can too. Who can believe in Jesus? I could believe in Jesus. You could believe in Jesus. All right, friends. Well, go ahead and find your partner, put on that blindfold, and see if you can walk around the room on your pretend road. And I will see you next time. Bye. Well, all right, friends, wasn't that so much fun playing that game? Uh, I hope you had a lot of fun getting to either lead someone around while you were blinded with a, with a blindfold, or maybe you got to be the person who was led by someone else. It gives us a little bit of a picture into what our story is about today and what, what one of our characters in the story named Paul, one of the things he experienced. So we're going to learn so much more today. So are you ready? We're going to talk real fast. There's three things we do before we start our large group time. Are you ready? We're going to worship God, right? We're going to sing and dance and clap. And we're going to hear our Bible story. 
This is when you need to get quiet and listen, okay? And then we will say our memory verse. All right, one more time. We're going to worship God, hear our Bible story, and say our memory verse. Great job. All right, everybody up. We're going to worship together, and I will see you in just a little bit.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hey friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and my neighbor Miss Kathy Sue just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spy with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great! All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend, Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. 
Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, became happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm going to show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! Hi everybody, it's Miss Kelly. I'm excited to share our memory verse with you again. But first I want to show you some things. These are some of my favorite stories. Got Pete the Cat, Explorers of the Wild, a Gruffalo. But you know something about these stories? They are just stories. Cats don't wear shoes. You can't really go exploring with a bear. And sadly, there's no such thing as a Gruffalo. They are great stories, but they are made up. They are not real. What's different about the Bible is that these stories are real. They are true and they happened. They are about real people. And our memory verse talks about that today. Remember our memory verse, I'm gonna read it from my Bible first and then we'll say it together. Ready? It's from the book of John, chapter 20, verse 31. And it says, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. So that verse is telling us that all the stories in the Bible are real and true, and they are written so that we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. All right, get those hands ready to do the motions with me. Ready? We say these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Let's say it one more time, ready? These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. All right, friends, wasn't that a great story? that we got to see someone's life changed because they believed in Jesus. How amazing is that? Now, in our story, we first meet a very angry Paul, didn't we? He was mean, right? He didn't like Christians. He didn't want people to follow Jesus, right? But then he met Jesus on the road, that bright light, and what happened? He believed in Jesus and he became so happy because he had met Jesus. And that just shows how powerful and good our God is. And he got to meet Jesus and it changed Paul's life. Now, I want to play a little game with you. 
Remember the paper or paper plates you were supposed to have? Get those out and you just need two. You can use paper plates or you can use paper. Either will work, okay? But on one piece of paper or one plate, I want you to draw a happy face, okay? So think real simple. Circle, two eyes, smile, okay? Um, and on the other plate, you're gonna draw a sad face. Same things, circle, two eyes, and a frown, <laughs> okay? Um, if you need a grown-up or an older sibling to help you, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, but do those real quickly. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take both of them and I want you to put one of them on one side of the room and I want you to take the other and put it way over the other side of the room, okay? So whatever where, what space looks like for you, um, just put those in really different spots, okay? And we're gonna play a little game, all right? Now, you see my picture up here? I have Jesus and a heart, right? Because we want to believe in Jesus. We know that anyone can do that. But in our story, that didn't happen. So here's what I want you to listen, okay? If I say Paul believed in Jesus, then I want you to run to the spot where you have your happy face. But if I say Paul did not believe in Jesus, then I want you to run to where the sad face is, okay? Are you ready? Okay, either one, ready? Okay, Paul did not believe in Jesus. <gasps> did you find where your spot is for the sad face? And you guys make a sad face too. Oh, did you make a sad face? It is sad to think about not believing in Jesus. All right, are you ready? Paul believed in Jesus. Go to the other spot and show me your happy face. Oh, good job. Are you listening, are you ready? Paul believed in Jesus. Oh, that was a tricky one. Did you stay put? Nobody should have moved. Okay, listen again. Paul did not believe in Jesus. Oh, are you running? Did you go? Where's the sad one? Are you making a sad face? Hmm. Good job. All right, are you ready? Listen. Paul believed in Jesus. Where's your happy face? Can you run to that one? Are you making a happy face? Excellent. So it's pretty amazing, wasn't it, that Paul believed in Jesus because he had met Jesus and Jesus changed his life. So what I want to do now is I want to pray for us. So wherever you're at, I want you to kind of settle yourself down, maybe sit down on the floor or sit on the couch, okay? You put your hands in your lap, all right? I'm going to fold my hands, we're going to close our eyes, we're going to talk to God, okay? I want you to pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for this story. Thank you that you want to be our friend, that you want us to believe in Jesus. Thank you for the story of Paul, that, and we can see how you changed his life. God, thank you that you gave him power to uh, be kind and uh loving to other people. God, I pray that for my friends. I pray that you would help each of us to believe in you, to believe that Jesus is real, that he loves us, that he wants to be our friend forever, uh, and that Jesus uh, can change our lives. Um, so God, would you help us to believe uh, that Jesus uh, is real and that we can know him. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you that we can learn um, every day more about who you are and how much you love us. We pray in his name. Amen. All right, friends. Well, it's been so fun to be with you this week. Stay tuned. Miss Amy's going to tell you about the family challenge coming up and have something extra special happening this week. So you'll for sure want to listen up for that. All right. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, friends. Hello, friends. You did a fantastic job this week on your bubble projects. I saw a lot of you doing art and others blowing bubbles outside with friends and family. Let's take a look together at what you were up to this week.
All right, guys. Well, this week we have a new challenge for you that I think you all can do. This week your family challenge is to do virtual VBS together with your family. That's right, this Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, June 23rd, 24th, and 25th, we are gonna do a virtual vacation Bible school at your house. All your parents have to do is go online, register you for VBS, and then they'll get email links for how to do everything. We can't wait to see all the fun that you have with your family and all the things that you learn over the next few days. I can't wait to see, and we'll look at it together next week. Bye, guys. Instead of bringing your kids to VBS, let's bring VBS to your kids. But we're not finished yet. Help kids understand what it means to listen to, focus on, and follow Jesus. A stands for Edmund. Bible stories. They were afraid that they were about to become fish food. Games. Do you understand the rules? Yes, ma'am! Origami crafts. Now the first half of the flower complete. Powerful teaching. Proverbs 3. Great music. I'm a, I'm a wave walker. Yeah.